Yep, I'm back again. Yep, yep, I'm back again. I just really want to tell everybody out there how thankful I am for... Kevin Ford expressing his gratitude online after an unexpected outpouring of generous Americans. It all began last week when a video of him receiving a gift bag for his service went viral. A movie ticket. Thank you very much. And I also got a bag of Reese's. The video has been viewed now more than two million times on social media. The 54-year-old has worked at the Las Vegas International Airport under HMS Host, a food service company for restaurants like Burger King and Cinnabon, for nearly three decades. Ford says in all those years, he has never missed a scheduled shift, not one. This is very nice. From Starbucks, thank you guys. In the video originally posted on Ford's Instagram account, he goes through each item, which includes a tumbler, candy, pens, and a movie ticket. Ford says in the video he is grateful for it all, but social media called for more. One Instagram user writing, after 27 years of working, that's all he got? Another person commenting, Kevin, you are a treasure and a special person. We reached out to HMS host for a response. Hey, what's good, y'all? Man, oh man. Man, oh man, let's get to the prayer, and I got some shit to say, some real shit to say. Any move vertical T, praise God, he is God, mm -hmm. all of our service, all by by his bidding. Why the fuck are y'all being like niggas like him? Why? Just why? Just why? Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. I have to go off. I have to go off. I have to go off. Y'all seen, y'all seen the clip, right? Y'all seen the clip. Y'all seen the clip, right? Why did that dude was satisfied of working at Burger King for 25 years and they only gave bro a piece, a bag of candy and a movie ticket? And that nigga was happy about that shit. Just why? That's what I was talking about. Stop being satisfied with small shit and be satisfied with bigger stuff. That's why I said that. Because in reality, y'all, Look at that, man. He didn't even get. He didn't even get anything better than that. He got so lucky they go funded him three thousand dollars. Now what if he didn't get that go fund me? Now what? Then he gonna be looking stupid, get a bag of candy in a movie ticket, which is crazy. It's crazy. The crazy part is, it's been people satisfied with small different things, small stuff. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, bro. That's why I tell y'all, find y'all a go. That's why I tell y'all. That's why I tell y'all. He went to work every day, never missed a day. And that's crazy, bro. That is real crazy. Um, bro, imagine, imagine, bro. Imagine you go, you you freaking working every day, not miss a day. All you get is some bad candy. How would that make you feel? How would that make you feel? Well, money. Well, money, um, that would make, I'll feel all right. See, that's why you ain't gonna be shit. That's why, that's why you at where you at now. That's exactly why. Well, money, I'll be okay with that. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. That's why you have to find you goals. That's why you make you a goal chart. And that's why you find you a career, bro. Like, no, bro. No. It's really sad how it's actually people out here that's like that. Like, crazy part is, I had a, co I have, I'm gonna say I had a co-worker, cause I ain't gonna, you know, I had a co-worker, he was, you know, doing a fast food job with him, bro was telling me he loved his job, then he said he did one thing for five hours straight, it's going so hard, but it's crazy part is, it be people out here really going hard with low tier stuff and don't be trying to go any farther with that, the sad, I really feel bad for that Burger King dude, cause you know what, Burger King don't get paid that much. He could literally go to other places. Like, bro should have just went to the military if I was him. I wouldn't care. I would have just put my life on the line at that point. Because, like, why well, work 25 years straight for a little small stuff? And especially how they appreciate you with giving you a bag of candy? I would have been pissed, bro. Like, no way I was going to be okay with that, bro. That is so sad. And it's so sad that I see that in every single day's life. It be people that be out there that's like that. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They okay with that. And then the sad part is he didn't even get to see his family. Always, he went to work every time they call him in. 
crazy, bro. Crazy. I really feel bad for bro. It's like real crazy how it be people out here that's really like that though, bro. Like real, real stuff, man. Like real stuff. And then the sad part is, bro. He don't even respect himself to give him a day off. They gave him a fucking bag of candy, bro. A bag of candy and a movie ticket. It bothers me, bro. It bothers me. That's why I tell y'all my videos. Y'all can be so much more if you put your mind to it and stop trying to be satisfied with small stuff. Because in the long run, it ain't going to get you nowhere for real, for real. McDonald's ain't going to help you out unless you a manager or something. It's going to take you years to get there. And you see him, he's still an average employee. You see that, right? So I'm telling y'all this is because take my video serious. And share my video, by the way. Like, I be talking about the realest stuff. Why are you watching my videos and not putting it on your Instagram or your TikTok? Why aren't you not doing that? I'm trying to help people. I'm sending a message here. I'm trying to help everybody out in my surroundings. Like, for real, for real. And then put that to mind, bro. Don't be like that, nigga, bro. I'm being serious, bro. Don't be like him. You can be so much more. For real, for real. Go to school. If you don't, if you don't want to find do something that's bigger than that. Don't satisfy McDonald's, bro. Don't satisfy fast food at all, bro. Every time somebody has a fast food job, they always say something bad about it. It's good for good reason. The only way you... I'll give you fast food job as like currently, bro. If for real, for real, if you're like 16 or something, and then you're like, yeah, then you get a pass. Cause you know, you still young. You can't for real do no full time career. And then after that, after you turn 18, bro, ain't no more of that. Ain't no more of that. Ain't no more getting $9 per hour. No. No more. By the time you 18, you should be higher than that. You should be better than that. Ain't no more. Ain't, it's no such thing as me getting paid getting paid by other people it's me that i'm the boss now i run things you know what i'm saying yeah do something like that do something like that if some people i know a couple people i got one homeboy at my job currently i ain't gonna i'll be weird i ain't gonna say my what kind of job i work at but he already got his own business he already got a little bread on the side that's what i'm trying to tell y'all it be people out there that's for real doing that people that out there that start their business young and be successful so yeah, you can do stuff like that too. You don't have to satisfy with McDonald's, bro. Like it's so sad how he worked twenty seven years at Make Burger King in Cinnamon. Don't do that, bro. Please don't. That make that hurts me honestly. It makes me want to feel like you don't give a fuck about your life, bro. It's like you like being a slave. It's like that. It's really like that. It's really like that. And then maybe people out there that can change the opportunity now. But they decide to just go that path. It's like, why? Bro could have easily quit that job and got paid a little bit more if he would have just... He could have worked that f fucking fun spot, nigga. Like, that shit pays $13 an hour. And it's crazy how he's still satisfied with that. And it's crazy, bro. It's so crazy how it's really people out here like that. Like me, I can't do that, bro. I just can't work satisfied with the low of the low, bro. I have to do something bigger. After I, after I leave a career or something. Me, now, is okay. But for real, for real, yeah. I can't do that. But she, like I said, though, the main reason why I'm saying this thing is stop working at McDonald's if you're 18 years old. Just stop. It's not cool. You're not getting paid enough, and these people don't care. Like I just showed you. Dude got paid, got a bag of candy, a bag of candy, a movie ticket, and a fucking movie ticket, and some pins. And it's so sad. He got so lucky, though. He got that $300,000. It came back to him. But, like, it ain't gonna always come back to people. So, put that to mind, bro. He got so lucky, bro. So, put that to mind, bro. You could be more than what you say you are. You're more than what you're worth. You know what I'm saying? I believe that somebody's more worth than what they worth. You came out your mom's womb, but you better than what you are, bro. Put that to mind. You are a millionaire. Say that every single day. You are a billionaire. You say that every single day. You could be what you more what you are. I'm back, y'all. Like I said in my intro, I'm back again. If y'all need me, I'm here. I'm back with my videos. Money back. Money is back. So I'm going to see y'all. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Put that to mind, though. Don't be satisfied with small shit. Don't be satisfied like that. And also, share that video. Share this video all over TikTok. Share my clip. Make a clip out of this. All of that stuff. I need this to get sent through. Why are you watching me? Nobody else is. Alright y'all, I'ma see y'all later. Yep, yep, I'm back again. Yep, yep, I'm back again.